Hello, nice to see you, and today I'm going to show you the Morden ball bearing camera slider. This is available in a range of sizes from 80 centimeters up to 120, and you get a couple little of detachable feet. They have a separate bag. The actual slider itself fits very snugly in the case. The case could do with being a touch bigger, and it's a very simple system. It's just got a locking mechanism on the bottom which is this little green bit, and then this top section just slides backwards and forwards. Now, there's no way of adjusting how fast it slides. That is simply a lock. It's kind of on or off. There's no degrees to make it go faster or slower up and down the track. You'll have to control the speed yourself. The feet fit very quickly and easily. They simply attach onto the bottom. They just slide up into these little grooves on the side, and then you simply tighten them up. The feet can also be adjusted if you want to maybe get it at a bit of an angle or get a little bit of extra height, you can do that. And there's also tripod mounts on the bottom, that's in the middle, although I prefer to use the side mounts which we'll come back to later. It comes with an adapter thread, but if you take that off you can screw on a normal sized camera, so here's a DSLR. There's no quick release plate unfortunately, which means you do have to do a bit of manual twisting and turning, and that's a real shame, it should come with a quick release plate. So here I am using it to film the Neutron Ninja review I'm currently doing. The sliding action works well, although you can see it does look a little bit like I'm going uphill because I've not quite got it adjusted correctly, so I'll need to go back and reshoot that. But you do have to manually then slide this backwards and forwards to get the desired effect. And there's no real way of controlling the camera either. The camera's very much fixed in place, so if you did want to kind of slide past something but keep it in focus you have to manually turn the camera and I think that's going to be a little bit tricky to do. I've actually combined this slider with the uh, Zecti tripod mount that I reviewed recently, I'll put a link to that in the cards above and you can see this gives me a quick release plate now and it also gives me more options in terms of camera positioning and I think something like that should have really been included, it just makes things a little bit easier and gives you a lot more options so here we go, now that looks a lot better, it's not like I'm going up a hill. Next to the feet you'll see there are tripod mounts, so if you don't want to use the central one because it might go off balance, you could actually use two tripod mounts, so that was the left one, there's the right one, so you've got various options, and that's exactly what I've done with a couple of tripods I've got. So you can see I've mounted this across two to make it nice and steady. Currently reviewing this BT phone, so getting a nice sliding shot from left to right. Again, it works quite well. You do need to practice with this. You can see, although it's sliding okay, it looks still a little bit jerky. So I thought I'd let gravity try and help me out. So on the left-hand tripod, I'm gonna raise it slightly. I've just pressed record, and when I raise it, you'll see the camera automatically starts sliding down, but it goes down quite quick. And this is where you should really be able to adjust the speed. So overall, this is a decent slider but there's plenty of features it could have included and for the premium price tag it's a little disappointing things like quick release plates weren't included. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.